So, Quen have thrown their hat into the ring of vibe code, uh, essentially. switch to web dev mode. As you can see here with some dodgy baby voice. Personal website for a developer who wants to show... Uh, basically, they can make one click, one prompt websites. Kind of similar to Lovable and kind of similar to like Google Gemini if you use the Canvas option. So, with that in mind, that's what we're going to test today. So, Quen... Of course, being Alibaba's model, open weights model, I was going to say open source, but it's really open weights. And their open weights model has this entire website, chat.quen.ai. And to be fair, there is actually a lot of stuff on Quen. So, for example, if we look down here at the bottom, you now have web dev, but you have deep research artifacts, image, video, code, plan, news, blah, blah, blah. Loads of stuff, right? Thinking, search. And if you click on plus, you can upload videos, documents, etc. And if you look at like their image generation, they actually can create pretty cool images. But that's for another day. But if you want a video on something like that, do let me know. But anyway, for web dev, what we're going to do to test it today is we're going to test it against Lovable and against Gemini. Because one thing with this is sure we can look into the spec and all this stuff, right? And Quen 3, the latest model. We've done a video on the channel all about it. But basically, they have a new model, Quen 3. And it's like everything else, it's a little bit better than the old one, etc. But one of the big differences with Quen is it is completely free. But as I always say, free doesn't mean it's free. Free just means someone else is fitting the bill, or footing the bill. And if someone else is footing the bill, then why? Why are they letting you use it for free? You know, it'd be like if there's a bunch of hotels in town, and they're all saying they're just as good or better than each other, why would one of them be free? Think about it, right? So, anyway, they're probably offering something else or going to use you for something else or your data. Anyway, so, we have Quen. Let's give it a try. The prompt we're going to use is I've generated a prompt for a chess site. Now, it's pretty big, pretty chunky prompt here. But essentially, it's like a game of chess, um, 1v1 chess match where people can just join and only two people can ever play um, and then one person who's spectating gets chosen at random. So, basically chess online, but it only has one lobby, and if you win, you stay on. So, <laughs> I thought it would be a cool idea. We're going to paste it here inside Quen, and we're going to send that off, and we'll see what it does. So, boom, straight away, sorry, they started creating it. I suppose, is it fair? I didn't let it think. Ah, we're fine. So, here you see it started to create it. We'll see how it goes, but as far as I'm aware, it only creates one page website, which is why it's kind of not fair to compare it to something like Lovable. Um, but we will see. But one cool thing about it is you can deploy it straight away. So, one click deploy up in the top right here behind my head. Um, let's put in the same thing here to Gemini. We'll go 2.5 flash. Let's do the fast one, because obviously Quen is open weight, so it's not going to be as good as a proprietary model such as Gemini. But let's click on Canvas and we'll send that across. Now Canvas, if you're not aware, can do the exact same thing. It will code it up. The first couple that you use are free, and then if you overuse them, you should check out something like AI Studio, where you can actually run it for free. It just doesn't render it or deploy it, but you can get the code and then you can deploy, it, deploy the code on something like Netlify, where you literally just drag and drop. Um, yeah, you just basically drag and drop your, your website onto to Netlify. It's actually what's used by, I think, is it Manus or GenSpark, one of them. Anyway, so we have here Cyberchunk, Cyberchunk, Cyberpunk Chess Arena, and it's been created here. One page code, and it'll go to preview, which is behind my head and the share. Let me see if I can move me. Sometimes I can't because of OBS. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can move myself. It's like OBS renders my cursor somewhere else. So before we see that, let's see this one. Right, there we go. So we have the one pager here. As you can see, just one page, one game. Um, it's actually just running no... What is this here? React? Yeah, I thought that looked a bit funky. But anyway, as you can see here, and then there's a big deploy button behind my head. And you can kind of see it, but it goes, it says example.quen.site and then public underneath. You can go public or private. Um, and then by clicking deploy, blah, blah, blah. And then click deploy. And it'll give us a URL, which is behind my head. And you can undeploy, which is pretty cool. But then if we paste that in up the top, bam, see here's the game. There we go. So. I can join as white, black, or spectate, which is pretty cool. Let me open this up. 
The cool thing to here is obviously it um, deploys it, but it doesn't deploy the chat, it just deploys the application, <clears throat> which is kind of what you'd expect anyway. What we can do is we can duplicate this out. Let me see, we can do our 1v1, see how this goes. And then on this side, let's go with, we'll go white on one side here, black on this side. Oh, it only lets me watch an as to a watching counter. Oh, so the logic doesn't even work. Well, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, not very good, is it? Can't join, can only spectate. Well, that was disappointing. Let's instead go to Gemini. And what we'll do is, we can see how it looks. Bam, oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the neck of this. Compared to this, this is fantastic. Although there is a, an error, but I mean, the other one didn't work either. So, let's uh, fix the error, see what it does. Hey, this is well cool. <laughs> this is well cool. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm completely unimpressed by that. That is so disappointing. It's awful. What if I just tell it doesn't work? It doesn't work. And it looks rubbish. And what we'll do is we'll move it up to the latest model. Bam. Web dev, let it think. Send that in. See what it can come up with. Gemini. Oh yeah, I, was speaking in, I thought it was speaking in a foreign language there for a moment. Um, so this here is still try to fix the changes. Um, we'll see how it goes in a minute. <clears throat> so I think, in fairness, Quen with this web dev is more comparable to Canvas on Google, or Gemini, Canvas on ChatGPT, whatever it is. Lovable is more comparable to like Firebase, because it's like a whole stack of files essentially there's like a whole repo but here we go it looks like it's working now so we can share it behind my head it does this here creates a link and then we can just open that up in a new browser window like so bam and there we go whoops and we'll open up two of these bad boys i see there's one Let's duplicate that up so we can join as two different people. I have this one here. So, if I go black, how do I join? Your user ID. Can I join as any? Why can't I join as anyone? If I click, so white is 97, that's me. Black is waiting. Wait, they're both 97. They're both the same. Same user. Is it because they're hitting the same URL, maybe? Possibly. I mean, that's pretty disappointing, too. Let me see. I'll go back here and say, um, we'll be hitting the same. Oh, I know what it'll be. They're hitting the same URL, which hits the same source code. So it's the same render, no matter what happens. I wonder if you could have stalled that cookie side. I don't know. I feel like there's, there is a solution. Um, but apparently not. Um, the users will hit the same URL and... Uh, I don't know. We'll just put that in and see what it thinks. It's hit the same URL and tap to the game. Hmm. Interesting. But each person... Has the same ID. Don't know. Anyway, so here we'll see it's still coding. So I mean, it's pretty slow, but it has loads of code. But I am comparing that again to Gemini, which is the best in the business right now, I suppose. Um, let's try this one more time. And if it doesn't work, what we'll do is we'll instead probably open up ChatGPT and see how it looks. Or we'll test another website, I think, on Quinn. That would be more beneficial to people so it's created the white player there with this id 97 and here that's 97 but so am i yeah i don't know i can only think that just because we're hitting the same url but google apparently thinks not let's see how this one goes oh hey hey now that looks a bit better let's deploy it publicly 
that's fine. Let me copy this URL. Let me paste it in here. We'll duplicate it out. And we'll pop the pages out. So we'll see if we can change it. There we go. So we can play, play ourselves. So, one of them is blue. I don't know who's blue. Or white and black, I suppose. And this one can join as black. There we go. Right, so. Which am I? It's not my turn, it's this guy's turn. What? Wait, blue. Which one's blue? This guy. Then it join after that person joins. I'm so confused. Oh wait, he's blue now. Oh my god, there's just so much rendering on the screen. This is mental. I can't take it anymore. Right, I don't like that. That's freaking me out. I mean, it's pretty cool that it, the way that it's rendered it, but it's just it's not practical and apparently doesn't work other than spectator button. But that's not even the way I meant it to go. So anyway, that's uh, pretty disappointing. What we'll do is we'll try it one more with another another one here. We'll go for a game generator. I do like the 3D car simulator. That normally brings a cool one back for Gemini. So let's try Gemini here. We'll paste that in. Bam. And this one here, we'll paste that in. Bam. And we'll see how it goes. Again, Quen 3. So we'll see how it goes. Versus 2.5 Flash Preview. We could have done 2.5 Pro, but you know I don't want to go with the best model against because that's just kind of unfair. But anyway, what are people saying about it on Twitter? If you look through here, most people are actually not happy about it. There's one guy here which built something pretty cool, so he basically had made a chat, uh, a rag chat app using Quen, but um, it's not, I don't know if it's particularly relevant. Because I think he just used yeah, Streamlit. Fair enough. But um, yeah, a couple of people are like, oh yeah, it's pretty cool, but everyone else is like, why are people going on to to just why is everyone just making these website um web dev things? Whoa, right, so there we go. We have our dodgy car, so the camera thing is pretty cool. Touch to zoom, spin and that. That's a well cool. But I apparently can't move. None of the buttons are letting me move. Let me open the link up and we'll see. That's a cyberpunk. Oh. You're still going, Quen. Um, let me see. No, can't move. Just a cute wee graphic. Fair enough. Um, so, Gemini, that's what you've got here. Let's see how Quen's getting on. It's still taking ages, to be fair. Also, it's taking ages. I suppose I'll plug my own stuff. <laughs> if you want to check out a free community for AI enthusiasts for AI automation, on here we cover all the latest AI tools as well as templates to automate your workflow or for clients. So you can make one of these templates as well. I have like Gmail ones, YouTube, Google, uh, Gmail from Claude's official MCP. So you can be in Claude and say send me an email and it'll go do that, which is pretty cool. Um, WordPress generator, all cool stuff. And then in AI tools as well, we have every tool we've ever covered on the channel. So like I was saying about Quen3, there we go, Quen3. We can see what it is, key features, strengths, weaknesses in the verdict here. You can go and check that out in the completely free AI Automation Hub community. Now, we created this for 10k subscribers. I haven't actually done the big release yet, so it's still kind of early days. Come and join in. Um, but we also have Applied AI. And Applied AI is for to take you from zero to building your first agents. Teaches you the foundations. Also, the master of the tools. The prompt base that I'm using today. Templates as well as exclusive templates for the pros. Um, and then how to build your own templates as well. Because if you want to actually automate your workflow, if you actually want to try and sell these, you have to understand how to build them. So come on, check it out on Apply the AI. So back to Quinn. It's still writing. This is mental. It's taking all day, man. Granted, it's free, but I mean, my Gemini one was free too. Um, hmm, yeah, not too, not too impressed. But we'll see. But again, it's, it's a weird one when you cover the news for AI because really what you end up noticing as the news guy is that it's the same stuff all the time. You know, so like it's everything is slightly better or whatever, right? So it's um, nothing's really revolutionary. Or if it is, it, it's revolutionary once and then, then it gets recovered by another five to ten companies. 
um, releasing similar things. Like this here, if this was the only one that existed, this would have been amazing. But like the fact that it t it's taking so long to do this, to render it in here is bonkers when you see like, for instance, Google done Gemini rapid there. Um, yeah, still going along. There we go, there we go, finally. So when's it going to open up in the preview? Is it going to be automatic? Do I need that? There we go. So we have this preview. The buttons actually work, which is pretty cool. There are mountains, which I can drive through. And there is a train, but the train goes a gazillion miles an hour, by the looks of it. Boom. But yeah, um, to be fair, actually, the functionality of this one is better than Gemini, so there is that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is, uh, is Quen 3 a game changer? What's your opinion? Have I missed something? Uh, do let me know. I'm interested to see. And then come over to AI Automation Hub to have some uh, conversation. And then apply the AI if you want something more in-depth and more personal with me. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.